turning to some big sports news for the region as Bristol's Ellis Genge has been named captain for the England rugby team. Well, Ross is here to tell us a little bit more about it. I tell you what, it's not every day one of our local players gets to captain the national side, is it? No, it isn't. Get this for a fact as well. The last time this happened for Bristol Bears fans was 1988. Wow. So wow. 35 years ago, it's pretty amazing. Is there any guesses who it was? No. No, it's testing my knowledge. No, no. <laughs> I'll let you think. off. Richard Harding. So there we go. There's a Take fact go. for you. So obviously it's an amazing achievement for him. I mean, we often talk about local sports people and he's just so embedded in the West Country. He's a massive inspiration for so many people here, particularly those at his old school, John Cabot in Kingswood. After hearing the news yesterday, we decided to go down and speak to them and speak to some of his old teachers who knew him and some aspiring rugby players as well about the impact he's had ahead of what's going to be a big moment for him. He set an amazing example. He is my player. He's my favourite player of all time. Best prop. You know, he's inspired me really to become a rugby player. It's all because of him. Extremely proud. Um, I was in charge of behaviour when he was a student here, so uh, needless to say, we spent quite a bit of time together. Uh, he's a bit of a rough diamond, Ellis. Um, had a lot of time for him, um, but he presented challenges as well, uh, as I'm sure he will admit himself. You've been so impressive over the last few years and you now take that to the next level. So do it and uh, let's bring it home for England. It shows that people that go to your school, you always think that people that go to school are just normal people, but like there's celebrities that do go to your school and they're famous. It, not many people don't know who Genji is and it's quite cool. Uh, we didn't get the uh, opportunity to meet him, but I would love to in the future. He was brilliant. He uh, really charismatic. My favourite memory of him is when he uh, dressed up as one of the ugly sisters in Cinderella. I got him in my old prom dress. He had the handbag, the wig. He did swear when he first came on stage, but then he, he covered it up and he was fab. Yeah. Was I mean, great. that's amazing. So he's used to performing on the big stages. He's there. used to performing. He's always loved attention. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just really, really proud of him. Amazing. What an inspiration. See, my kids love rugby and they love Ellis Genge. Yeah, he's a real surprised. inspiration, isn't he? Yeah, he's fantastic. Massive player for the Bristol Bears and now England as well, isn't I it? I tell you what, I don't know what's more uh, intimidating, Ellis Genge like that or <laughs> Ellis Genge dressed as an ugly sister. <laughs> With, a With a handbag. With a handbag. Yeah, amazing. Quiet for France. Ellis, if you're watching <laughs> against France, do that. <laughs> yeah, their next production's Annie as well, and that's next week, so I'm sure they can <laughs> maybe get him back him involved for that. For that.